So I take full responsibility for any of you that may have pulled out all of your hair after watching last episode. The game against the Shamrocks was completely avoidable. After a while, I did start kind of thinking, you know, maybe the D-line did actually it just cause so many problems for us. But there were mistakes that could have been avoided, and uh, we could have definitely won that game and should have won that game. And unfortunately, we lose by 15. We are moving on, though, against the Steamers, a team that has uh, been in a lot of close games but have not really done so well on the win column and under Siege discussed the sack total from the previous game. So we gave up a lot of you know, we gave up a lot of pressure. I mean, that was the problem, without a doubt. We also have to focus on the scouting. We have some negotiations, a whole bunch of stuff. But here it is, first things first. Coach, protection for the uh, quarterback was a major issue this past week as you surrender to high volume of sacks. Where do those struggles start? I mean, the offensive line, if we're going to have to blame anyone, it's it's not because we're not getting the ball off quick enough. It's because the offensive line is getting cooked. I mean, it is literally a, a cooking show out here. With that being said, how do you get the group back on track? Extra prep, I guess. Do we get anything for that? An increased focus on pass protection will give your offensive line plus three to power block and finesse block for pass blocking, but you will lose some for the run game, which, fair enough. Beat the Steamers and get 300 passing yards. Limiting sacks allowed it will give your offensive line a temporary boost. Okay, I mean, temporary doesn't really do a whole lot for me, but it's better than zero boost at all, I guess. Uh, but let's take a look at the team. We learned last episode that Ronnie Shelton is a superstar development trait player so we drafted ourselves a superstar and uh, the offensive morale is okay defense there's some ups and some downs but for the most part we're you know kind of neutral we uh, obviously will have to take a look at the steamers roster because there might be some new things going on there some injuries as well do we even actually see what the shamrocks ended up with because uh, i know von miller got hurt and apparently it was not a major injury. The Steamers, no injuries there either. And look at their team. Geno Smith, of course, very low uh, throw power, decent accuracies, but yeah, that throw power is iffy. Javante Williams, not a lot of speed, but very good power, a uh, little bit of juke move. Uh, their fullback is a tight end. Wide receiver, AJ Brown is very good. Michael Thomas, good short route, I guess, but they definitely need a new wide receiver too. Shark fast, but uh, yeah, they don't really have much going on when it comes to in terms of development. Tight end's not that great either. Worfs, amazing left tackle. Quentin Nelson, amazing left guard. McGovern, okay center. Zach Martin, really good right guard. McGlinchey, decent right tackle. So hard to penetrate that line and get to the quarterback. So don't have the weapons, but you have all the time in the world to find somebody. Randy Gregory, I mean, he's okay, but he definitely needs to be replaced. Carl Lawson, he's okay, but definitely needs to be replaced. McNeil, definitely some potential there. Need a DT too. Jalen Phillips, solid outside linebacker. Devontae Campbell, pretty athletic. Anthony uh, Walker, meh. Diablo, very athletic, probably should start. Thibodeau on the outside, very solid, has given us some problems. Newsom's a great cornerback one. Elam can be a great cornerback two. And Ringo is athletic and could be a good number three. Free safety, very good. Strong safety, Sleeper, but the prospect spotlight now. Let's take a look uh, at who are they talking about? Zaire Taylor. It's been standing out from other prospects in terms of his football IQ. So he's smart. He loyal. Uh, sure. I mean, we'll we'll take a look. Consider scouting Zaire Taylor for further evaluation of his ability. We have some focus players. Maybe Zaire Taylor's on my list of focus players. Of course. Don't know where we're going to land just yet. Corners on the list. I don't think it's going to be that high up there, but uh, Zaire Taylor does actually look pretty decent. So, I mean, I'll give him some credit there when it comes to scouting. But, uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot of question marks all over the place. Edge is still probably the primary need. So, uh, that's probably the route we're going to go in the draft uh, if possible. Obviously, I'm not going to just force my hand, but... You know, if it's if it's doable, we are going to try. And I'm going to get this guy scouted as well. So we have our focus scouting done. Might have some uh, negotiations to do. So we'll take a look at that. And then we'll go into, you know, kind of the game plan for the actual matchup we have at hand against the Steamers. Of course, Rodriguez, I mean, he needs to be paid. So a four-year 28 for a very high up-and-coming guy. Uh, Barber, he is star dev. I would like to do a three-year worth like 15 here i think that's that's about fair compared to the rest of the league malone i think is gone he just hasn't been great mathis he's not been bad but let's do like a two-year seven he takes it and then connor wilson i don't know if he's the future future but i'm gonna do a three-year deal 
worth, uh, you know, 13 and a half mil. Because he obviously has high, high hopes, high, high ceiling. Booty, I mean, these wide receivers have been all over the place. Walt James, I think, is worth that two-year deal. Wouldn't want to do anything crazier than two years. Glad to keep him around. Uh, anyone else? Romeo Myers, he's a backup. Haven't really seen much. Carl Brooks has been pretty good for us, so another like two-year deal worth like eight mil would be great. And I'm really shocked that all these contracts are just going. They are working out. Daniel Falele, I haven't really seen much from him. Ika was okay. Elijah Hicks, I would love to do a, uh, a three-year deal. Six mil is so low. A lot of these guys might be uh, restructuring at some point. Uh, Malik Cunningham, I definitely want to keep him. So a two-year, $6 million deal. Maybe could be a starter somewhere, perhaps, but I don't know if I really see it. Uh, and then Daniel Falele, I kind of want to keep him around as a backup because Freeland might be on his way to being benched. He has really not been playing great, but kind of going for one guy that's basically similar, replacing him. And then Springs... At first, I didn't really like his ability as a fullback, but he's actually looked pretty decent, and we're actually getting all these contracts to stick, so we're chilling. But looking at what they do well, apparently not a lot on offense. I just want something that is going to uh, to get us in there quicker, and then their defense apparently is not great outside of passing. Is this the week we just run the hell out of the ball and just don't look back? Why not? And here we are kind of against the Portland Steamers. Once again, a team that has been close against some really good teams have just not won those games. Uh, last week, Joe Morant caught every single ball under the sun except for one really easy one, which was weird as he caught a bunch of tough ones. Uh, but a really good game from him. Still no breakout in sights, uh, but the Steamers trying to have themselves a chance at the playoffs. They pretty much need to win basically every game. They can't really lose any more games. They might have one more loss in them and still have a chance, but any more than that, and it is over. So obviously every single game is basically the playoffs for them as they can't afford a loss. Obviously we're kind of in that situation where, you know, a couple of losses and it's basically over, but we're still kind of around, you know, hovering around 500. So definitely hoping to get back to 500 and keep it going as this division is absolutely wide open as for once, for one moment, we were the leader of this division. And then that went away, uh, I believe, unfortunately. But going to be kicking the ball off first as, I mean, that's basically what we do every single week. Don't know if it's even a good thing for us at this point. Why was that guy spreading the cheeks? That's all I want to know. Of course, this ball is, this thing's kicking quickly. But here it is. Four set on the return, not going to return it. Quarterback Geno Smith, that throw power is lacking. The accuracy is there, but man, how do you zip it in there? I don't think you can if you're him. 14 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, 1,800 yards. It's not bad, but at the same time, Malik Cunningham has similar numbers to that, and he hasn't played in how many weeks? I mean, Malik Cunningham's numbers are like, <laughs> is that right on bar with that? Not really much of a chance to get a much pass rush this week and almost picked by Nick Jones on the first play. Like I said, with that throw power. Had him, but the throw power allowed uh, Nick Jones to get in there, have a chance at it, and almost picked. And rip move, not going to work. That drag is free. Not going to get the hit stick. Good try. 14 yards to Allen Robinson. Out of bounds on the drag. Press man, bringing Wilson a little bit over the top there. Can we get anything this game on the D-line? Probably not, right? I mean, look at their line. As Cam Jones gets trucked right over, three yards gain. Could have been so much worse. They got the push of a century. Like, genuinely, how do you, like, three superstars on the line? Like, how do you actually penetrate this line? Cam Jones almost makes it, and the double move early throw. There's going to be a flag. Is that against us? I might have hit him late. It was like P.I. or something. I have genuinely no idea where they seen that. But sure, I guess. To the 38-yard line. A yard gain for Javante. Cam Jones in position. Hicks over on that side. Wilson going to be blitzing once again. Kind of on the weak side. Free rush for Walt. Can't finish it, but Cam Jones can. Only a yard gain. Third and eight from the 36. Bringing everyone in on a cover two look. A little bit of a push, and there's nobody there if he decides to take off. And he's going to throw it away. Good stop. That'll be a field goal attempt. I was really just trying to move somebody over there because he had a little bit of a chance to run, but thankfully it didn't happen. And their kicker is so tiny. And he misses the kick. No shot. That is why you don't let children kick field goals. 
And we're not even going to be able to say Jadarius Lewis's numbers, which, to be honest, at this point, probably not the worst thing to see. Uh, as the fullback's getting a nice block, and Rodriguez, with a little bit of help, gains about 13. Gets blasted really late. Jet sweep. I don't know about that now. I don't know about that now. We're going to go underneath to shorter. Great throw. Gains about five. Back on the ground. They are kind of on this. See if we can still get it anyways. And string it out. I really... Nice play by Rodriguez. Gains about three. Need the fullback to go the right way. It's a free first down if he does. A pin pole toss. There's a lot of names here. If they don't get a good push, this could be a big play. And we get no help. Stiff arm. Nice move, Rodriguez. Beautiful play. First down. Wow, that was, I mean, that was a stalemate across the board. All that movement, all those blocks that we just basically got to the line, Rodriguez did the rest. What a play. Play action from left to right. Let's see if we get a look here. Let me drop in their pass rusher. They're kind of on this. They're going to go to Latu, who's not the fastest, but he'll get a few yards. Nothing crazy. Beatty on the inside handoff. Just, you know, do something. Didn't really get there. It's going to be a gain of three after three. I mean, if we can consistently get three, I mean, math's kind of on our side. Five receivers. Morant going to trust it. Oh, my, the pressure, and that'll be a field goal. Going to trust that one-on-one, -on -one and he just missed it because the pressure was in there. Field goal is up and good. It is a 3-0 to zero game from the 22-yard line. And that is wide open. Nice little hop jump. I guess those are the same words, I suppose, by A.J. Brown. Try to blow him up, maybe even force the fumble, but either way, it's a stop, but not after a billion yards were gained. Guess it doesn't really matter about your throw power when players are that open. You have all the time in the world to throw. Come on, Jackson. Get a push. And I just sold so hard. Thought he was going to engage me, so I wanted to go with the bull rush, and he just he just didn't care. That was literally a free hit on the running back with a gigantic pass rusher, and it was a blown opportunity. Could be picked. It is! The pressure with the bait. Wilson with a pick. Three in three weeks, and he's paid up. He's on the team for a few years. Nobody on Koontz, and... Maybe a little early on the throw, but he's open enough on the on the get, and I'm just going to throw it right away, and just failed the play. I don't know what to tell you. Just a bad throw. The outside, good blocks, and maybe because of that holding, that's going to set us back very hard. Belzer might be the culprit. He's looking to point fingers. Usually it's the guy pointing fingers, and now it's Koontz. It was a pretty big seal off, in fairness, but this is a big loss of 10 yards. I mean, we need to set up at least eight here to feel good. Let's see what we got. And that's a tough throw, and he misses it. It would have been a huge play. And instead, it's probably going to be another coveted third and long screen. You know what? It's not. It's going to be a Ronnie Bell option middle of the field. I mean, I, I, I like it enough, and he overthrows him. You've got to be kidding me. Come on, Jadarius, wake up. Two for six, eight yards, and the first quarter's almost over. From the 20-yard line, the Steamers, who are losing, find themselves in a potential spot to take the lead, and Cam Jones is going to get another sack. It's a fumble recovered by Jackson. Cam Jones is him. Great play. Takes that ball away. Make sure he doesn't get to it, and... Jackson off the edge. Gets the freebie. All right, there we go. Shorter, 6'4". I don't know who he's going against there, but pretty big player too, I think. Floats it in there. That's a perfect throw. Booty in for the touchdown. Slippery as they come. Maybe he needs a contract. Doesn't get to play much, but, man, the receivers have been kind of inconsistent, so it's hard to choose who gets the ball. And they're, they're playing video games. They're, they're, they're us. Look at them. Pressure. Bit of a late hit. Throws it where he can just get under it. Perfect ball, for being honest, and just gets underneath and doesn't really even get touched. Are the steamers us from a week ago? Well, that's a good throw over the middle. 
And not going to get him, but luckily Riley Moss does. A.J. Brown starting this drive off just like he did the other drive with a big play. Two for 50. Maybe just get, yeah, maybe get a little press on him. Let's see what we can do. Or not. I mean, that was basically non-existent. Huge hit. Gain a three, but great hit by Forbes. From the 49-yard line, going to pinch the line because it could be a run. And that is a wide open wide receiver. Going to go safe on this one and miss the tackle. I'm just saying, those are usually going to be the results when you go with a conservative tackle. That was textbook. Ran right into him. Conservative tackle. And a wide receiver ran right through him. And, oh, no. This time we miss hard. I mean, everyone just bouncing. Just bouncing off of Javante. Big drive for the steamers here. There is nobody on the tight end. Okay, well, he's coming to us. Maybe he can see the future. He knows things. I mean, look at how much crap is going on here. And back of the end zone. I can't tell if he caught that, but Michael Thomas might have done it. It's kind of our job for going for that play action, but I think the play action's open if we don't go for it. Well, the short play action look to the running back. Eh, maybe not. Maybe we should have been back there. And that is... The closest toe tap I've ever seen. I mean, is that in? That is insanely close. Wow. That is unbelievable. Look at that thing. The two bigs definitely made their mark on that drive. Holy. That was kind of spectacular. And overthrown Morant trying to dive for it. He's like, where's my accurate quarterback? Didn't lead it or anything either. Let's get back to the ground. Second and ten. It is still very early in this drive to be selling, just making throws. And there goes uh, Beatty. I'm try to hear it up to the line, but I don't think they're going to give it to us. Yeah, they might. Should we? Nah, I'm not going to go for this. Second quarter, still up by three with ball. Steamers aren't going to go away that easily. It was a really quick, efficient drive, whereas our offense is struggling. All right, let's see what we got. Zig from Bell. They're playing that pretty well. And that is a tough throw. Oh my god, he just died. Kunz just got blasted. See, the problem is, on those types of plays, I just don't have the time to wait for, like, a deep in from Morant. Like, we're getting pressure. I don't know if it's, like, invisible pressure. There's ghosts being seen. Maybe it's just I'm seeing a blitz and I'm just throwing it. But, like, I am not trusting the line one bit. And I think for good reason. Gonna go with the inside handoff. I mean, that was pretty much always going to Rodriguez. Might have had a chance to go with the RPO throw, but there's just no point. That looked free up uh, inside, and it was. They're kind of leaving shorter, but I imagine they're going to pick that up. And, I mean, look at the way we have no time. Settle is injured. Streak for Moran. I mean, they're going to drop this, or... And, I mean, look at the time. We have none. we got to do something. The offensive line is just... There's something wrong. There's something wrong. Like, look at the instant cook. I mean, the running back's not even helping there. Carl Lawson's throwing over a 340-pound left guard. What is happening to the line all of a sudden? Third and ten, Rodriguez. Screen pass. And that is a pretty good set of plays. Rodriguez is going to be short. You could probably kick a long field goal, but I think it's pretty smart to just go for this. Kind of want to run the fake. But we're not going to. It's probably going to be a just a one-on-one. -on -one. Morant wins it. Oh, maybe not. I don't like it. Jadarius, just enough speed. And honestly, the ugly slide maybe saved him. I think a proper slide catches us in a uh, in a fumble uh, position. Take the fullback. There really just hasn't been much going. Nice fight. Three yards. Really nothing going in the pass game. They're covering. They're locking up in the pass game. What can I say? Got the uh, pre-snap motion. Latu. Let's see if we can get a run lane. Oh, what a jump by the safety is. We actually had a gaper. Third and three now. I'm going to run the ball again, Rodriguez, on third and three. And they're going to miss it. Rodriguez is going to gain a bunch. Then we're going to hurry up to the line and then run the original play. Safety does come down, so we're going to have that outlet to Rodriguez. Bell to the outside was always going to be the route, the way that cornerback played it, or the safety, whoever, eight yards. Battle of mid, passing game-wise, is definitely a uh, full effect for us. And Morant just set that up. Beatty down to the three. I mean, don't get me wrong, I want to reward Morant all the time, but I really want to reward him for that freaking block, and that's a perfect route. Touchdown, Bisons. You do the selfless play, 
and helps us get down the field, I'm going to try to reward you. And once again, it helps that it's Morant. In general, I want to reward him. And nowhere to go that time. The O-line usually really good for them. Not really doing much on that. Back to Jackson, kind of the only guy that has a chance to really apply pressure. The bull rush kind of worked. He does have him beat. And he holds on. No way. A.J. Brown. Nick Jones was beat, but not by much. It was a good recovery and just a greater catch. That throw was pretty damn hot on point as well. Oh, my. I mean, what a play by Jackson, but just ran out of time to get there. Good bull rush, but doesn't matter as he gets it up there. I mean, he got uh, he got domed, let's be honest. Let's not lie to ourselves. Free rush, and we blast him with Weatherford. Seeing the running back really wasn't going out for like a a drawn-out route. It was going to be like maybe a block-and-release type play, and felt like we had the free rush with that knowledge, and I mean, kind of. Going to press with the outside shade. Oh, that is not good timing on that outside shade as Allen Robinson gets a freebie over the middle. All right, we're coming with the all-out for the most part. Underneath coverage, all-out blitz. And, oh, good cutback, kind of. Touchdown Seamers right back at it. A little bit of back and forth so far. Rodriguez to that outside. They got a decent little push, and we are not going to get to that outside. Loss of two. Getting a little more aggressive here on second down. Don't really know if I like the inside route from the route runners we have out there. As How is Koontz dropping that? That is going to kill the drive. The ball is right where it needs to be, and he drops that. I genuinely don't know how you drop that. That should literally be impossible. All right, jailbreak screen. Always hit or miss. This one might not hit. Oh, it's an offensive lineman versus a linebacker, and he can't block. Well, our lead is in jeopardy now. They have the ball at the 48-yard line. What a sell from Koontz, though. And then the offensive lineman not blocking. Over the middle, and there goes Michael Thomas this time. Those two receivers are killing us. I don't know how. Michael Thomas is literally DT speed now. 86 speed is just cooking the hell out of us. What can I say? Ronnie. Oh, burn, but throw is just a little out of reach. And Allen Robinson's number is definitely throwing me off a bit. Oh, it's a screen. Didn't see that. Overran it and just missed with Wilson. Third and two now. Not going to call a timeout because third and two is very manageable. Bringing everyone inside for the blitz. Uh, I mean, there's nobody on him, and he drops it. Slant Man just drops it. Slant Man and Wasp. Oh no! They're gonna go for it on fourth and two. Field goal would tie it, but instead they're gonna they're gonna take the chance. They're gonna roll the dice, and for good reason. As Wilson gets burned off the line, Allen Robinson touchdown steamers. They gain the lead. They kind of dotted there. Let me tell you. And he's not going to run his route. Was he not supposed to run like an out? Jadarius, Skeen's nine. Kind of wanted to get as many yards as I could. I didn't really care too much about the clock. I don't even know if this clock is benefiting us. You know, we got to actually get down the field. And Rodriguez gets slammed. I'll call a timeout now, I guess. Slam for the first down. Slam! They might try to run up and jump press Morant. And he did, and it works. And we're in trouble. Throw it away. Don't know how that's not grounding. 53 yards of passing offense. You have heard it correctly. And we're going to be sacked pretty much immediately. I do not know what went wrong with this offensive line, but it is now in the gutter. Taking the shot play with the six foot four guy. And that will be... Not a punt, but just a uh, save clock, yeah, I'm sure. Just to kind of hold the ball, throw it away type play. Well, when you get Morant one-on-one, -on -one, he's going to unleash this thing. And Morant almost caught it. What a freaking play by Elam. Barely got a hand on it. And that'll be the half down four. We get the ball like we usually do. Kind of letting this one slip away, but this wasn't... I mean, you look at the numbers. This one isn't one where we're, like, we're blowing opportunities... We are genuinely just getting killed on the offensive line. We just got to run the ball because the pass game, the blocking has been terrible. Looking across the league, though, 
The Dreadnoughts versus the Elks. Very important game for us. The Elks 3-7, and seven, man. And they're losing 7-0 against those Dreadnoughts. I mean, this division has been awful. It has been so awful this season. Uh, but, you know, if if we're the, the kings of trash, I'll be the kings of trash. Snowhawks versus the Sentinels. Snowhawks, who are 5-5, five and five, are getting smoked 17-0 against that 3-6 and six Sentinels team, who is not out of it just yet. Orbits versus the Redwoods, and the Orbits losing by 10. They have been on a complete slide, and they really need to get back into this thing if they want to try and steal this division from us. I mean, we really haven't even played well, but everyone else has just played worse, and it's crazy to think. Uh, highlights last week were just all the other team. Once again, you would feel like we we have no highlights. I don't know, but uh, we are going to focus on uh, running inside, and I guess defend medium slash deep. And the ball is kicked pretty damn deep. Forbes on the return will get us near the 25. Look at the numbers. Rodriguez, 43 yards on 5.3 yards per carry. Not bad. Going to try to get back to that in this half. And I didn't expect, you know, them to be nowhere, but, man, they are really up, aren't they? Shorter is wide open, and that is a missed opportunity. Jerry's Lewis missing by a lot. I mean, they were up. I felt like the best decision was to audible to a throw. The play was open. The ball was missed. That's really all there is to it. And good job by Rodriguez trying to bounce that. Gain seven. Had to keep it tight just to keep the fullback from getting outran, outpaced. And I think we did really about as well as you could ask. And we're going to be looking for that quick throw. The running back play is so misleading at times. Morant, wide open, perfect throw. And Morant gets wrapped up to the 42-yard line. 65 yards on 23 attempts. That is so bad. It's unbelievable. Inside run looks pretty clean, so we're going to go for it with Beatty. And nobody picks up Devondre, who has played like a freaking all-pro. Once upon a time, was an all-pro. Not so long ago, but... Man, he might be back. And there's no one out there, but the speed is there. The blocks weren't great, but they did enough. And Rodriguez fights it to the 37. More rushing yards than passing yards into the third quarter. Definitely not something to be proud of, but you know what? We're here. And Rodriguez trying to use some power. Somehow the DT gets involved there. Don't know what the offensive lineman's doing. Just, like, push someone. I don't know. Just It seems not that hard. Just do it. Morant, quick throw. Great catch. Did not think number two was going to make that play on that ball, but it's something. Do we believe in Shorter to win his route? We believe in Morant, kind of. Gains three. It's fourth and two now. Field goal makes it a one point. We'll see. Could just be a situation where you uh, you read the field. I mean, I kind of like it. They had two choices, and Morant was the one left. Clutch as they can be. Good play. You cover the running back. You cover the Morant. You choose kind of wrong. And we went for it all. Maybe should have just kept it inside for a gain of about four or five. We almost never actually keep this run. Well, it's probably for good reason. And trying to make something happen. We're going to lose another two. Like, don't be wrong. Pre-snap, it doesn't look great. But at the same time, they're like, you know, running the same type of defense every single time. Morant. And it's not a perfect throw. But it's there. I don't know what he's doing. He's like, he tried to swat it or something. Field goal, obviously. Kick is up, and unless it's blocked, which it almost was, it is good. Down by one. It just sucks, because with Morant, the curl route is there, and it's just like, it hasn't developed somehow. We just can't get the ball, or ca catch the ball when it is there. Trying to get out there, and that could be picked. Good D, good D. A little high t for both of them. It's fair enough. That was a little scary. I thought he was definitely going to just moss us. We'll take it. Come on, Jackson. Get a bull rush. All right. We forced the pressure, though. And, of course, he slips off the tackle. Of course, he slips off the tackle as well and gains six. I'm watching him in a loss of two or a drop. Don't know what the hell the defender was doing there, but kind of just let us have it. That's a screen. Oh, we've been missing him. And what a tackle, but it will be a first down. Clipped his ankle like he was a damn uh, weed in the garden. <laughs> just snip. The little, uh... Ah, we can't get out there. And, of course, Allen Robinson gains seven on the freaking handoff. Surely. Little little ankle bone snipped it. Ooh, that would hurt. I don't know why I said that. Now it's just in my head. Oof. 
Why did I do that? And a good tackle, third and one. All right, bring everyone up. I don't really think there's much of an argument here. We kind of have to stop the run. Didn't commit for good reason, and what a defensive play by Hicks. AJ Brown had a chance, didn't get it, and I mean, the way that we have played on offense, I'm going to believe that this is actually a real punt, which I'm not really sure why, because, I mean, we're not going to have much of a chance to return it anyways. Now nah, we have to return this. You never know how that's going to bounce. Oh, Lord. To the 11. I mean, that ball could have easily just backspun. Rather have the ball at the 11 than at the freaking 4. I think that's a pretty fair assessment, personally. Might have the RPO. Nice push. And Morant couldn't win his route. We would have, or his block. We would have got there. We would have got that edge. Rodriguez is basically just starving for blocks at this point. He's just, he's so malnourished. Morant is open. Wish he would have led that inside a little bit more so he would have had a chance to run up field. But for, fair enough, first down, I guess. A little disgustingly bad, but it works, I suppose. Read option. And, well, Jadarius going to use some power because, you know, he's so slow that the guy just reacted late and still got to him. I want that over the middle, but Moran has that kind of leverage on the outside. And Jadarius is going to gain basically nothing back to the line. I'd really love to know how many of our yards this season have been screen passes. I would love to. And the answer is a lot, as we are going to outrun everyone with Beatty without any contact and get the first down on third and ten. What a play. Not our best work on the offensive line, but definitely good enough. Inside handoff. Nice little push by the center. There we go. Finally some room to run. I thought he was going to break that all the way. Gonna hurry up to the line and see what they're gonna hand us. Morant 101, let's see it. I mean, he's open. That throws on, and Morant down to the one. What a play, Jadarius Lewis. Finally putting one right on him. I suppose pre-half, that was a really good play on the Hail Mary too, but really good defense at that time, and that was a really good defensive play too, but just a better throw. And there we go, on the board a little bit with some yards and potentially the lead. Crack toss. I already just know we're going to lose some yards. I mean, I don't know why I try. What? He just died there. I mean, just insta-shed by Jalen Phillips. You would have thought he was literally freaking uh, Lawrence Taylor. Like, just the goat. Like, he's just unbelievable. He just ran through that play like it was nothing. I don't like that. I really just didn't like it. I didn't like that he was running right into the corner. Got some size in here. Hit that throw. He's open. And Justin Shorter, what a route. We'll get that touchdown on the board. Beautiful. They kind of look like they're ready for this. I can't lie. Maybe not. Oh, what a freaking dive. If that safety didn't dive, Morant would have had a clean one. Second and four. Nine minutes in the fourth. It's been a really close one. Like I said, with the Steamers, they have been in close ones all game or all season long. We got pushed the wrong way. And stiff arm hard. The cornerback misses. Come on, somebody bring him down to the 50. Javante hasn't had a great game by any means, but he can't be giving up those plays. Like, that's just crazy. Let's go, Wilson. On the potential, like, play action. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. Hicks, what is that? I don't know who he's trucking. Made it a little bit easier. Hicks catches him anyways, but made it even easier for Cam to just do it on his own. Cam, do it on his own, Jones. Step inside the middle, and nobody can get... Oh, what a hit. That might have been a late hit. Holy. Weatherford's insane. Weatherford will hit everyone so hard. And there's nobody on him. Why wouldn't he take that throw? Easy first down to the 15. Got the safety blitz. A lot of DBs in this play, and they have a lot of linemen. A lot of tight ends, at least. And we did a pretty good job to contain, force that bounce out, slowed him down. Really not selling this as a blitz. Quick out. Great tackle. It'll be a few yards. It's third and four from the ten. I mean, four down territory, pretty likely. We're just going to man up and hope we can win this ma uh, battle. We're going to be jumping on this route with uh, AJ, assuming it's something inside. Oh, it's a zig. He's open, but that guy's open too. Huge hit, but holds on. Oh, my. How? That is unbelievable. Come with the blitz, but drop it off Malone. And that's going to be picked off. That's a pick six. Game over. Geno Smith had a bad decision. 
and Riley Moss, who has not had a pick in a while, gets the touchdown. Unbelievable. I think he had him. He just needed to lead that to the end zone. All the way in the corner. And uh, just doesn't. Ball comes out flat because of the lack of throw power. And Geno Smith and company, who have been damn near perfect on offense, fail when it matters most. Now, it might have been a little early to call it game, but it sure as hell feels like game when you uh, have that kind of mistake in that situation when you just can't afford to. Yeah, that's just a really bad play by us. Keeps and bounds with a nice hit, though. I just figure they're going to get down the field anyways. I suppose you don't want it to happen quickly because clock is now your friend as well, but force that fumble out. The game is physically over. The short throw, that one, I don't even know if it was caught. Whether it was or not, it's only two yards. Jackson on the bull rush, not going to happen. They're just killing us on the outsides, but not really doing a whole lot. I mean, that's six yards for, what, a whole minute probably taken away? I'm going to flat cover with Jackson. And we missed the tackle. Of course we do. Trying to get vertical. Can't bring him down again. Robinson to the 14-yard line. We tackle like this, and yet we win games. That is... Pretty insane. And that's going to be a great throw, but a great knockout by Forbes. Field goal, of course, does them nothing. So this is a four-down territory drive. And we blew that up with smoke. I mean, not blow it up, but we jumped at the right time, I suppose. Let's keep it right here. Trying to cover the running back. Back in the end zone, overthrew him. That's a touchdown if he puts that in there. Fourth and six. The game's on the line. And I think it's blitz time. Bring him up. Hicks gets the running back. Back of the end zone. And they're going to say the left foot wasn't in. I don't know. They say this was not caught. I mean, talk about throwing your guy open. And they are correct. That left foot was too drawn out. They should have had this. And they didn't. That is unfortunate for them. And shorter falling forward. Once again, still not even over. So we're going to you know, play it as if the game is still winnable by anyone. Because, well, technically it is. Should be running the clock out, but I like this play action so much. Oh, the tight end's dead. And it is time for Jadarius to slide for that first down. Two-minute warning. The odds after that first down have drastically dropped. Looks like it's back to 500 for us. The Steamers, once again, in another really close one, just not able to seal the deal. And it could be their season. I don't mind being the team to, to send them away, though. I'll tell you that. Pitch play on third and five. And it's going to be the play that wins us the game. Oh, my. What a play. And win the game 33-21 to and a lot closer of a game. Kind of down the wire there a little bit. The Steamers might be not mathematically eliminated, but realistically eliminated. Eliminated. Well, we're still absolutely in this race as we, I believe, are going to be still in the division lead with the Orbit struggling mightily. We might end up getting a pity playoff run here as uh, this division is not great. And Jerry Lewis, he was all over the place in accuracy wise, but did have three touchdowns with zero interceptions, technically getting back on track. Uh, Rodriguez just over 100 yards. Beatty was okay, but man, that defense is really not bad at all. It is not a bad defense. Their offense was giving us way too much, right? A pick six, a short field. I mean, it's just you can't win games when your offense is literally playing better for for the other team than their offense. You know, it's just like you're giving them free points, basically, with those short fields and pick sixes. We do have some upgrades. Field General Cam Jones now is an 80 overall, which might be some upgrade points or uh, abilities, which it is. Man coverage plus two, which is really good, actually. Ability... Strip specialist, fair enough. Um, still effectively tackle while uh, trying to strip. Fair enough. Some of the best abilities are obviously on the higher end uh, overall-wise, so we're not going to see much there. And the rest are pretty much, you know, O-line and a cornerback. We'll uh, get to those some other time. Don't think we got the under siege because I think we need a 300-plus passing yards. I don't think it was offense total. But um, what is it called? Do you feel like you got the response you want? I mean, kind of. It did literally said kind of, oh, my guy, my guy. He said kind of as well. We're linked. We are linked. 
1,000 XP as well might add to the list, and boy, did it ever. Strap yourselves in. Strap on Dill Pickle. Uh, shorter, definitely going to be trying to get, you know, the physical upgrades. Speed? No, but release, medium, catch. We just want to be a goon catcher that can get off the line short route. You know, that's really all you can ask for. Uh, Connor Wilson, obviously we just paid him, and he's been playing really well with some interceptions and whatnot. 75 overall now. Can we get him close to 80? Ooh, close. 79. Gets an agility, which he absolutely needs as well. Bells are the offensive linemen. You probably don't care about we're going to go with them anyways. 75 overall, and of course, has the crazy temp boost because of winning that game. Uh, insane pass blocker, despite the fact that he really has not felt like that at all. And then Zach Kuntz is a 77 overall now. Let's see if we get anything kind of uh, spectacular route running wise or something. Two to medium, one uh, two to stiff arm is great. One to deep, one to catch in traffic. I mean, almost 70 for medium. Getting there, definitely getting there. And then the rest, basically backups, which we'll get to or I'll get to on my own in a moment. But anyways, that's going to be it. If you guys enjoyed this one, maybe leave a like, subscribe if you are new. Um, maybe follow me on Twitter, channel PK, second channel PK, plays for non-mana content. And the orbits are next. Winning this game could give us a really big boost in the lead for the division. Especially if they lose this game already, we'd be basically two and a half games up. Orbits are really the only team that has a chance to catch, so huge matchup in Week 12, so definitely be on the lookout for that one. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys come back for the next video, but until next video, 